Hey, 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 everyone. Anthony Fantano here, Internet's busiest music nerd. Just stirring up a little bit of a short review here of this new single slash EP from the trio known as Caro Caro Bonito. Have reviewed them on the main channel a couple of times before. You guys might know them from my incredibly positive reviews of Time and Place as well as Bonito Generation back in 2016. So given how great the band's track record is up until this point, of course, I am excited to listen to and talk about anything they do from here. So what is going on with this new single? What is going on with this new batch of tracks? Quite a bit, in my opinion. One thing to note is that this collection of songs, this single, this EP, presents a slightly new sound for Kiro Kiro Benito. If some of you uh, remember back in 2018, earlier in that year, the same year where they, they dropped Time and Place, uh, they had the one true EP, which forecast the band's change in sound as they switched away from some of those bouncier, dancier, more J-pop inspired elements from Benito Generation into uh, more elements of twee as well as noise pop. So again, that, that EP was forecasting that sound. Civilization 1 is teasing towards something else, though it's also electronic too. And, and let me say, thank God, it is amazing to hear the trio working with some synthetics, working with more electronic beats once again, because I, I think it's something they're particularly good at. And if this collection of tracks is teasing toward either a new album that has this sound, or with this thing being titled Civilization One, uh, maybe a Civilization series, potentially, especially since there seems to be um, some lyrical themes that are very consistent throughout these three tracks that uh, I'll mention later in the review. So essentially this project, three songs, Battle Lines is the first one. I love the groovy synth bass and the cascading lead melodies on the intro of this track. The groove sounds like something out of a classic Super Nintendo RPG or like a very old zany new wave tune, especially with some of those wavy and chimey lead synthesizers worked into the track. Sarah Benito's vocals sound as breathy and as sweet as ever, but even though her voice is very light in the mix, it's not as loud as a lot of the other instrumentation here, that does not mean her singing comes off as lazy or inactive. Her vocal melodies are darting around just as much as some of the other key instrumentation on the track. Also loving how noisy and abrasive this track gets at some pockets in the first leg of the song too, and throughout the track as well. I like that while the band are embracing more synthetic elements once again, they're not totally giving up that noise pop diversion, that noise pop uh, veer and direction that they made on time and place. So now those noise pop elements are working with the electronic elements and it's it's making for a pretty cool combination. Also loving that very groovy rhythmic cool down around the bridge of the song, how explosive the ending is. It's easily one of the trio's most creative and well-structured songs. So far. And one more thing to note is the lyrics, which are woke as Fuck. I mean, reading into them, they, uh, to me, come off as dealing in authoritarian control, uh, those at the top sowing social discord through various psyops, like a fake disaster state and keeping people's grief high and their spirits low. Then we have When the Fires Come, which as a single was not a track I was crazy about at first. It's uh, very light, very breezy, a bit of a slow burner. The more I listen to it, the sweeter it is though, and the chorus absolutely blossoms. It's very lush. It's very pretty. I love those uh, <laughs> strange little pan flute synth leads on the track too. Uh, again, th this this is all very much enjoyed despite how meager sonically the beginnings of the song are. And narratively, this track seems to follow a lot of the chaos of the last song. It's as if the hierarchical society of the first track is broken down and humans go back to existing in a much more natural state, but also there are tons of lyrics on the song that are very clear references to global warming, the destruction of our environment, and the potential suffering that will come as a result of not addressing that. The whole thing closes with The River, which has even more low-key moments on it than uh, When the Fires Come, which does make it a bit of an anticlimactic closer. Uh, the, the song structurally feels like more of a meditation than a tightly wound tune like the other two tracks 
tracks were, which is not necessarily a terrible thing, especially since there are sonically a lot of lows and highs throughout the track. I love how there are these uh, uh, various bursts of energy throughout this song, riding this one linear groove with all these glitchy batches of electronics and wailing synth leads. Again, even if I'm not as enamored with the tune on this song as I was with the two previous cuts, it's still incredibly well produced. It still has a great energy to it. Surely there will be Caro Caro Benito fans who will enjoy hearing the trio head in a slightly more abstract direction on this one. All in all, I think this thing is a really solid batch of tracks. I will give it a yellow flannel. A yellow, yellow flannel, uh, easily one of the better EPs, uh, short collections of songs that I have heard this year, and uh, I hope that all of y'all try it too, and the Caro Caro Benito fans continue to stand, because I think the, the trio uh, continues to drop some good stuff, drop some good music. Uh, again, loving the sudden change back into a more electronic pace, uh, that's really exciting. I'm liking that they are uh, going back into those waters, but with a new and a novel sound. And I'm liking uh, the increased attention on uh, the more socially charged ideas coming out of the lyrics here. So um, cool, cool little project from KKB. Civilization One, Anthony Fantano, uh, forever.